What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome back to another episode in the wonderful world of Roblox with your cyborg host and his trusty psychic, Mr. Bob and Cyborg. And today we're going to be doing another episode about the Ready Player One event. Probably the second last episode, honestly, because the last one is going to be about the Golden Dominus and finding that. If we ever can find that, we don't have any clues yet. So there's still going to be some videos on that Golden Dominus in the near future, whatever they do. Plan on to release the clues, which is, I, I don't know when, to be honest. But right now, they have nerfed the way to get the crystal key, and you cannot get the crystal crown of silver anymore, which is the one that I have on right now. This one is not available, so if you didn't get it, then you snooze, you lose. Or maybe it was a bit too hard for you guys, but guys, that's the only bad news. The good news is that you can get the crystal key still, and you will earn yourself the crystal crown of bronze. And to do that, they made it even easier to get the crystal key, which we will go over in this video and show you guys the fastest and easiest way to get the crystal key and the crystal crown of bronze. So strap on your seatbelts and let's hop right into this, guys, because you're all here for a reason to find out how to do it really fast and simple. And so that's exactly what I'm here to do. I'm your guide that's going to take you on a journey right now into Hexaria. As you can see, yesterday they updated the game with the following changes. They added an NPC text to the flickering lantern that tells you what the code is, C key. The code will remain constant for all players. Added a text label on the map that says enter the lucky numbers in the chat if you have the fortune cookie. Reduced the accuracy of the dance battle AI from 97% to 85. Changed the description of the Philosopher's Stone card to say better take this to Nick F. Most of it is honestly not that big of a difference. The big ones are how high of a percentage you need to complete it and especially the fact that the code is now constant. Why you might ask? Well because we don't even need to go to the lantern. Let's hop in right into Hexaria, show you the fastest and easiest way to get this crystal key and the crystal crown. And while we hop in, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, and let's get this key, shall we? Here we are in Hexaria. Again, I've said this in my last video about the crystal key. If you have not signed into Hexaria at all, you're gonna have to do a little tutorial. That tutorial takes around five minutes. It's really simple. You can't really mess up on it because the guy literally guides you through everything. But after you do that, you'll end up here. What are you gonna wanna do? is go straight this way. You don't even have to follow the path. Go actually in between the path of the shop and the path over here because it's even quicker. Instead of going around in a circle, just go straight here. Watch out for bandits though, because if those bandits catch you and they drag you into a battle, you better wish yourself goodbye. You gotta reset because it takes quite some time to face these guys. These bandits can be quite pesky bandits. It's like those Pokemon trainers whenever you try to cross them, but they have the little thing pop up and you can't dodge them and you have to battle them. All right, it gets annoying. But once you get into the town, go up the stairs that we just did right over there and take a left on your first left into this house. There's already someone in here and then talk to the man over here, Bernard. Because we don't need to go to the lantern and the code is constant, as soon as he says Lux Lucador, just type in C key in all caps, reply, and then you will get yourself a fortune cookie. What you're going to have to do is go into your bag, open up the fortune cookie, and when it opens up, it gives you a quote and numbers. What you're going to want to do then is go into the map. It says right over here, try typing the lucky numbers into the chat with no commas. Well, that's exactly what you want to do and type in those numbers, press enter, and Shermer gets unlocked. Be sure to just spam, click on it, and then you'll get teleported. Once you get teleported, you're going to end up in front of a white house that is actually taken from a movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. What you're going to want to do is enter the house, go up the stairs, take the first left, and then a first left again, go on this bed, stand there, and type in the same quote that you get from the fortune cookie from earlier. So go in your bag if you need to, just look at it, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Type that exact same quote with all the commas, periods, punctuation, grammar, everything correct. Once you have it all completely fully typed out, press that enter button and you may hear something glowing in the background, a sort of sound that glows. Then when that happens, go into the bathroom right over here and you may notice you have yourself a glowing faucet. Once you get that, you'll get yourself the philosopher card. Once you have the philosopher card, all you gotta do is simply reset. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you spawn back at the beginning of Hexarian. Now, follow the middle path. So don't go over here to the town, don't go over there to the graveyard and the lantern, just go straight. Stay on this specific path because you're gonna have to get yourself to a portal. And to get to the portal, 
You just gotta go straight. At one point, it'll branch off to two. One skinny path, one bigger path. Stick on the bigger path because the skinny path actually goes back to the town. You don't want to go back to the town. Eventually, you'll see the graveyard to the side and that means you're on the right track. Go straight this way. It should lead you to a little location where you can see almost four big doors. The only one door works though and that's the door that you're gonna have to go into. The one that works is right over here. Walk right into it and you'll get teleported into a completely new world. Now, this is probably one of the hardest parts just because you have to dodge all the mobs. These mobs kind of get pretty annoying, so you just gotta watch out. Don't get too close to anyone that is battling already, because if you do, you'll get pulled into it. So stay on away. Also, stay on away from the skeletons and all the other mobs that are in battles, because they do walk around and they could walk up to you and bring you into a battle, and you don't want to go into a battle when you're just level one and they're like level seven and stuff. Okay, this part, this island right here is the hardest because they tend to move around. So you gotta, oh, look, that dark mage. Oh, he's he was coming close. That elite skeleton, but can we make it? Oh, yes, GK Smith and Twisted Pandora has made it into the second portal. When you make it into the second portal, you go into the third realm. And in this third realm, you have to just jump. Make sure you don't fall. If you're good at obbies, you got this in the bag. Look at that. Boom. Then you're going to go to the far tower, not the one close by that's got a money sign over there. Now, forget that one. You don't need money right now. You're not playing the game. You're trying to get the crystal key. And then you go and talk to this guy. When you talk to this guy, because you have the card, he will say, please lit. And then he'll stop and he'll be like, oh my gosh, you have his card. Every time he asks you a question, click yes, click yes, click okay. Do not click no because you're not going to get it so click yes 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 and then he will trade you the philosopher card for a crystal key and the crystal key will look exactly like this now on this is a poem and this poem is pretty easily identified because it tells you to go back to the church and where is the church right back in the first realm so the easiest way to get there is to just reset every time and you're in a realm so you can spawn right back the beginning portal so that was round three i spawned right in front of the realm three portal now i'm in realm two then you just reset and you'll spawn in front of the realm two portal and then when you go through that, you're back in round one. Now, when you're in round one, just follow the opposite path that you took to get here. So over this way, because this path leads directly to the town. Now, the town is not too far from here. As you can see, it's right over there. But when you're coming from this direction, in between the town and you is actually a big church and a bridge. Just go along this side. Make sure to dodge the bandits, though, because they can get pretty annoying and they can get you in a battle. You don't want that. Go along the side of the bridge and you climb up and right over here should be a church. Talk to the only guy in here known as Ted. He'll be like, pip pip, youngster, a simple question for you. Then he asks you what his last name is. You answer with long bottom. That's as simple as that. One word, long bottom. And when that happens, this door opens. When this door opens, you walk in and you get teleported to the final world and the place where you can get yourself the crystal key. And once you spawn in here, you'll make notice that it's like an 80s dance disco vibe, almost like 60s. But then you talk to Travolton. Now this one, you have to do a dance battle. But guys, make sure to get your fingers ready on the directional keys. So up, down, left, right. And make sure you try to hit it at the right time because if you fail and get under 85% you're gonna have to challenge him to a battle but if you're level one you're not gonna win trust me i've tried it be sure to walk right up to him talk to him and then he'll challenge you to a dance battle now if you don't know how to do the dance battle it's like dance dance revolution the arrow keys will fall down if you need help be sure to go watch my last video where i actually did it unfortunately this is the only game where you can't get both the silver crown and the bronze crown just because of this specific part whenever i talk to him here he he just says wow and he doesn't want to battle again which really sucks because i want to get that bronze crown but you can't for some reason the people who get the silver crown cannot get the bronze crown but if you're here because you need the bronze crown and you don't have a silver crown then go talk to him the thing should be totally different he challenges you to do a dance battle get 85 percent or more and you will defeat him but if you don't defeat him and you get into a battle just reset you'll spawn back in the first world then you can just walk up to the church talk to the priest again tell him long bottom and then just go back into this world it should be all good then just try again and keep trying until you win. And when you do, you will get yourself your very own crystal key and the crystal crown of bronze. And it really sucks because I was going in here expecting to get the bronze crown. But unfortunately, Travolton over here does not want to dance battle me. And I am so offended, Travolton. Well, ladies and gentlemen, enough of that. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get it or any silver owners will not be able to get it. But for any of you guys watching this video that needed it, 
then there you go, the super fast, super easy way to get the Crystal Crown of Bronze and the Crystal Key. If you guys enjoyed and if this helped you out, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you guys are new, and until next event, this is Twisted Pandora signing off, and as always, don't forget to stay snazzy!